Good morning, it's the Saints man, and I'm parked at Peterborough Services, and it's quarter past six in the morning, I can't deliver until seven o'clock into Peterborough, uh, I've got a uh, pre-eight o'clock, but they take this at seven o'clock in the morning, one box, so I've got a bit of time, and it's a van review, it's my Fiat Doblo, uh, quickly go back i've been doing this job now over four years plus and i started with a uh, 57 plate Vauxhall combo the chugger boom that was the old cafe van that we had at the cafe that's what i used uh it wasn't up for the job bless it never broke down or anything it's just uncomfortable no cruise very slow uh 1.3 engine yeah it didn't keep that for long but it got me started Moved on to the uh, Citroen Berlingo, which was a cracking little van, real car-like van, really nippy. Uh, it had been remapped the engine, so it moved. Uh, blew a turbo on that after 172,000. And then I bought this, which is the Fiat Doblo. I've got the 1.6, and I've had this van 18 months now, and I have done 100,000 miles in it. When I first mentioned on this channel that I was uh, that I changed, I had to swap quite quickly. I didn't expect the the Berlingo to blow up, but it did. So I had to think on my feet. And the reason I got the Doblo, and one of the main reasons was it doesn't have Ad Blue, and I'd had a lot of issues with Ad Blue with the Berlingo, and I'd heard of other people having issues with Ad Blue systems, and I just. Uh, the Doblo, I wanted an L2, not an L1, which is what the um, Citroen was. So I wanted an L2, and I wanted one that didn't have Ad Blue. And apart from that, I was open to suggestions. And the Doblo, when I bought it, it had done 35,000. It's now done 135,700. So I have done 100,700 miles in the Doblo. Like I say, when I first bought it, uh, I had a lot of people, a fair few people on this show say, you don't want to buy one of them. They are absolutely shite. They're cheap, they're nasty. But I bought it anyway. I'd bought it already, and I, I quite enjoyed it. It's the L2 version, so I it's about 1.7, 1.8 in the back square. Across, I can get a two-meter doors in at the angle, and yeah. So we had the Doblo. We bought it from a dealer in Pershaw, who I didn't know nothing about, but seemed really nice bloke, really nice guys. Went out, test drove it. It was specced, and I did a deal. I had a few issues that I wanted altering on it when I bought it, and he agreed to them all and did them. Uh, he hadn't got any hooks, hadn't got any uh, anchor points in the back. They'd been took out, so they put new ones in. And he did a few jobs. There's about five or six jobs. And I said, if you do them jobs, we've got a deal. And that's what happened. I bought the van for £9,000. That was 18 months ago. The van is a 19 plate. It's May 2019. So I bought it like a year and a half ago for 9000 And I have to say, overall, absolutely brilliant. Uh... What I've had done on the van is just what you call maintenance. I haven't had anything major yet go wrong, but the maintenance I've done. I've only had one set of tyres. When I bought the van, it had brand new tyres on it, and they were top of the range, Michelin, these cross things, all weather, seeing all... De Even the dealer said, I can't believe it had these tyres put on because they are one of the most expensive. And they worked out really well because I've only just changed. I changed the front tyres after 85,000 miles and had a slight bit of uneven wear on uh, the tyres. They were near their limit. The rear tyres, I only changed last week after, well, 100,000 miles. And the only reason I changed the rear tyres, they'd still got tread on, don't get me wrong. They'd still got about four mil, three, three and a half, four mil. But I got a cut on the inside of the rear tire and it cut and it had cut right down to I you couldn't see it unless you had the jack the thing up which is how we found it how Darren found it and it would have blown 
it it was down to you know very very unsafe so we got them changed as a pair i haven't put the same price tires on i've put cheaper tires on because that's all we had in stock at the time but they were 85 quid a corner the fronts they got decent tires on they were 110 um each one 220 fitted tracked all that crap so that's just maintenance but the, yeah the set of tires are fantastic the reason i've put the cheap ones on because i intend i'm going to sell this van this year uh it's going to be more likely september octoberish i'm going to look for another van and the reason being i just want a slightly bigger van uh and this one if i run it another 20 30 40 000 miles I don't think it ain't going to be worth much anyway, but it'd be worth bugger all. I've got a buyer for it, actually, uh, who said he'd have it off me um, whenever I want to sell it. Well, what price we agree, I don't know. Um, anything else I've had done on the van since I've had it? I have had new pads, obviously maintenance again. New discs on the front, uh, that was done 25,000 miles ago. And rear shocks, they were replaced three months ago, four months ago. And what a big difference they made. The shocks were knackered, absolutely knackered. And I couldn't believe the difference it would make. But putting new rear shocks on, it doesn't wallow. It it's just drives better. And I had a Leander sensor. I don't even know what a Leander sensor is. But we had an engine management light come on three months ago. And it, it was intermittent engine management light. I put a diagnostics on it. Darren put it on it. And it's the Leander sensor. And they sent the wrong sensor twice to Darren. And then they gave him the right sensor. And it's touch wood, all good. Apart from that, that's pretty much it. I haven't had anything else go wrong with the van. The Blingo, when I had the Citroen Blingo, that used to blow bulbs for fun. I would be replacing a bulb every month, two months, a bulb would go. All of them. It wasn't just one bulb, faulty. It would be one headlight bulb, one indicator bulb, one brake light. It was a pain in the ass. Uh, this van has done 100,000 miles on the same... I haven't changed one bulb. I've got spares with me. Haven't changed at all. So really happy. Um, I have a van serviced. It says every 20,000 miles I get it serviced. I have an oil change. 10,000 miles I aim for. It's between 10 and 11, although this last one went to 12,000 miles. So I change the oil regular. Uh, Darren, well, I don't. Darren changes it, just whips it in. Hour later, it's done. And I have it serviced. It says every 20,000. I get it serviced approximately probably 18,000, and it just gets serviced. Apart from that, the van is great. It's, let's... The pros are it just does what it does. It's just a good van that does what it does. Never had issues with it. Um, the the cons on it, the radio could be better. There's no DAB. Uh, it's just a FM. And it can be quite, uh, what's the word for it? It's just a cheap radio. The sound's not brilliant. Sometimes it's, it doesn't pick up the signal brilliantly. But it picks up talk sport, and that's what I listen to most of the time. Um, trying to think of the other cons really I think the other con I've mentioned before is the paintwork on the van the Bolingo when I used to wash that it stood out it never you know if it got a chip on it it's got the odd chip here and there it just scratched the surface the paintwork on this if I put a powerful jet wash on this I'm sure I could strip the paint off I think they only put about three coats on where Bolingos had numerous coats so you get a chip and it's down to the metal. But I wash this van and I wash it thoroughly once a fortnight, mostly once a week in the winter. Um, and it gets washed and it gets clean, water taken off it, roof, everything. So it's in really good condition. I oil, oil the doors because a couple of doors um, were getting a bit sticky. Just a bit of uh, WD-40 on the doors, on the hinges and all that. And everything's fine. I've said, I've got the spare seat as an office. It's set up as an office. It suits me. The air con works fine. I've never had any issues with the air con. The next service, we, uh, Darren is going to regas it, although it's fine at the minute, but it must be running short soon. 
and it's got cruise control, everything I want. When I'm looking for a van, this is just me, I look for certain things. I want cruise control. I've got to have cruise control. I cannot live without it. I've got it on the cars, I've got it on the van. I live on cruise control because I'm. if I didn't, I would get speeding tickets. And I just treat the van. I keep it on the speed. Don't speed. Don't accelerate hard. Don't brake hard. Um, I just look after it because I'm the owner driver. Owner driver of a van. Look after your van. So I don't, you know, it's simple. It just gets treated well. The cruise works. The aircon works. And I say, if I'm looking for a van, I have to have cruise. I have to have aircon. Um, the next van up I'm going to get. Oh, let me just up. He's going to be probably a short wheelbase or a medium wheelbase. We've started sort of speculating, and my next door neighbour, he had a Peugeot Expert, which there's something not right with it. It's, it's offset. I don't know if any of you guys have got it, but they, it's an offset steering. It doesn't sit in the where you sit. It's moved over slightly on his van, and it's so off-putting. And it's the same with a, a Vauxhall um, Vivaro I had to look at. Uh, that was my son-in-law's. And is he slightly offset? There was a, a time when they were. I don't know why, but that's the sort of thing I'm looking for. That sort of van, the Toyota Pro Ace or the Citroen Expert. I would go back to a Citroen. Uh, and I quite like the Expert, so we may look at that. But yeah, this van has been a great van. Um, I say it does everything I want it to do. Hopefully... It carries on being a great van and doesn't let me down because it's probably going to end up doing another 10,000 miles. Yeah, I'd say it's going to do that. I've got a holiday in August, September. It's, yeah, it's going to do 10 to 15,000 miles, I think. And then we're going to look at changing it. Um, I could keep it and run it into the ground, but I'm looking for a slightly bit bigger van for the job I do. I'm doing and it gives me more opportunity of backloads if I have a slightly bigger van if I have a medium wheelbase um, low roof which still goes under uh, car parks as in um, underground car parks uh, they come in at 1.9 meter the uh, the expert the P Citroen Peugeot Vauxhall and Toyota and but you can get long wheelbase versions or medium wheelbase versions. Medium wheelbase versions. But the Fiat Doblo, I say, lots of people said you you bought you'll buy some. You have nothing but trouble. It's exactly my opinion is this van has done exactly what I want it to do. I'm sure things will start to go wrong uh, because wear you wear and tear. These vans do it. I do. You know, I've done hundred thousand miles in eighteen months. Which works out, I don't know, 70,000 a year? 70, 30, yeah, 68,030, yeah, about 68,000 miles a year. Things are going to go wrong. Anyway, that's it. 13 minutes, over 13 minutes on this video. Hope you're all doing well. I'm going to go and do a delivery in Peterborough, then I'm on my way to Bourne and let's hope the van keeps rolling. I hope I haven't put the kiss of death on it, but yeah, very happy with it. Speak later.